Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox where we are in a partially buried rover in order to check out the planes that I made for my airplane pack just to remind people that they exist. Uh, I've done videos on them individually before but I decided I wanted to tour them all in a row except for the AN-225. I have to point out that it is missing the AN-225 because it kept trying to flip out and fly into the air and that was probably because of the way the landing gear is on it. Uh, but I'll have to do further investigation. So it wasn't sitting still, basically. The rest of them seem to be sitting still, but uh, the ones with adjustable landing gear keep telling me that the adjusting landing gear is over adjustable landing gear is overstressed. So you see that in the upper left. All sorts of problems here, uh, including the partially buried rover, because apparently the colliders on things in Kerbal Constructs are always a little bit weird. We'll see that on the tarmac there or apron. I made these air, uh, apron parts. Uh, they are placeables for Kerbal Constructs. I'll link them in the video description. It's just uh, uh, it's just uh, that much is one of them, and so I've put three of them to make a long enough apron. Of course, people had made hangers before, but they didn't really have normal parking space for planes like this, sort of taxiways and that sort of thing. Uh, I did not see one, so I decided to make one. And so, yeah, if you're interested in planes, obviously this is for people who are interested in planes. Uh, I said that in the video about the cities and people didn't quite get that and the city's still over there you can see <laughs> but uh, yes let me repeat this is for people who are interested in planes um, uh, by the with the intro to my videos with the race aerospace intro you may notice that uh, I like planes so yeah it is unabashedly for people who like planes let me make that clear right away um, so yeah, and the apron is placeable with Kerbal Constructs, obviously. It's a little bit hefty because I tried to make the textures look good. This rover is driving so I made the simplest possible rover I could. It's moving slower than I thought. And maybe that's because it's moving through the ground. Okay, let's see if we can get through this transition. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay, okay, we're through. Now there's the... And it's still not great textures, but it's mildly better. Uh, of course, with a plane, it'll look much better. But uh, this is the apron that I made. But unlike the runway that we just had, instead of things sinking into it a little bit, things seem to float above this, even though I made the collider proper and everything. I don't know why they're sort of above it beats me. But all the planes you can see, their landing gear is sort of floating higher. Not what I was intending. So generally speaking, the planes do not come with the landing gear. Those That's from other mods. The engines are from other mods, specifically advanced jet engines modifying other mods. And so it depends on which mod advanced jet engines gets the, uh, the engines from and mostly the control surfaces are B9 procedural wings. Uh, you can see the twitchy adjustable landing gear on the B-52 here. And that's what's been happening, that's what's making the little sound. Everything's of course to real scale. And we have the X-15 on the B-52 in this case. Then we have the Super Guppy. The front does have a hinge that opens. You can put stuff in it. Be careful though. I mean, there are colliders all around the bay, but it's tight sometimes. The engine the cells are part of the mod. They don't look great, but they're really hard to shape. Uh, just the front end of the engine is a different mod. This is the Saab Draken, made by request. <laughs> it, it'd all be so perfect if they weren't like floating above the ground a bit. Nothing ever happens perfectly in Kerbal. I have no idea how they fly in stock. I mean, in theory you could use them, but um, I've only tested them in Realism Overhaul. So next up is the F-100. Little F-100 there. Uh, 
And then the T38, of course. NASA livery. And then the F101, because I wanted to do the Century Series, so we got the F100, the F101. It's rare to get uh, these planes in Sims, F100, F101, F102 in particular. Uh, this is the F102 coming up. The F104 we tend to get. I still wanted to do the F105, which is relatively rare. And then this is the B-58 Hustler. You know how small it is, you know, compared to bombers in general. I mean, it's basically a large fighter. Not very different from the F-102. Now, of course, they were both made by Convair. Now the AN-225 doesn't have the blue and yellow stripe because when I made the AN-225 and I made it a long time ago, it was one of the first planes I made because I wanted to do the max space plane. Um, but the the plane doesn't have the stripes because I just didn't know how to do that very well at the time. It's still really hard, but yeah. So it's not the best livery ever. Anyway, the SR-71 looking spiffy, I hope you'll agree. Very, very particular texture on that. The F-104, of course. I'll have to figure out why planes float above the tarmac here. The SR-72 slash Darkstar. If it's scramjet, be careful. It's difficult. Especially transitioning back and forth. People have asked about KSP-2. One thing I'm looking forward to doing in KSP-2 is replicas and seeing how far I can get with the new parts as far as making replicas are concerned. But obviously nothing will top just modeling the darn thing in Blender. Here's the 747-100, the shuttle carrier plane with the extra vertical stabilizers at the ends of the horizontal stabilizers. This one actually comes with the engines. They're not wonderful engines, but they work. The plumes might need some work though, I forget. I think they work properly. And then last but not least, uh, XB-70. The XB-70 does feature the tilting wings. I haven't noticed that they had any aerodynamic impact. Oh, there's the adjustable landing gear doing his thing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if they have any actual impact or not. Uh, I don't think so. That is a complicated thing, the way the tilting wings helps at uh, higher Mach numbers. But alright, that is the tour of the aircraft all lined up here at my airport at Tampico and I look forward to making more mods of more planes I haven't decided what to do yet but I'd like to do the F-105 but it's not like it's popular or anything uh, I, I'm sort of into not entirely popular planes oftentimes so yeah but I'll think about it and we will see so with that I will link the plane pack in the video description as well as the apron if you actually want to use it and it's just replaceable for Kerbal Constructs and I'll just wrap it up here thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next time